Today, we are going to compare two popular cameras, the Nikon Z50 and Nikon D3500. We are going to take a look at their features, who they are for, how they perform in various use cases, user experiences, and which one is the right one for you. Links to both of the cameras will be listed in the description below. Let's get started. The Nikon Z50 and the Nikon D3500 are two digital cameras that were officially introduced respectively in the 10th of October 2019 and the 29th of August 2018. Let's take a look at how their specs compare to each other. We tested both cameras to assess their performance in different scenarios. Let's take a closer look at our ratings for each of them. Here are our ratings for the Nikon Z50. For portrait photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it an 8 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 9 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it an 8 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 6 out of 10 rating. Here are our ratings for the Nikon D3500. For portrait photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 9 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 6 out of 10 rating. Next, we will take a look at some sample photos from the Nikon Z50 and the Nikon D3500. Keep in mind that these photos have editing done to them, so the result from your camera might be different. Let's start with the sample photos. Here are some sample photos from the Nikon Z50. And here are some sample photos from the Nikon D3500. Next, let's take a look at what other users of these cameras have to say about them. Here's what people have to say about the Nikon Z50. I bought the Z50 as my first mirrorless camera and I'm really happy with it. It's small and lightweight and the photo quality is great. The retractable lenses are perfect for hiking and fitting in my backpack. It's not for professional photographers, but it's perfect for me as an amateur. The Nikon Z50 is a great camera for first-time mirrorless users, with fantastic image quality, handling, and value for money. However, as an enthusiast, I found the lens selection limiting and the lack of in-body stabilization a drawback. I'll reconsider it in the future when Nikon expands its ZDX lens offerings and potentially include stabilization in future models. Here's what people have to say about the Nikon D3500. The replacement for my Nikon D3100 was easier to use but I dropped it and cracked the screen, so I got the 3500. It's similar but not as understandable as the 3100, thanks to those who tried to help me. The 3500 is still a great camera to start with and not too expensive. However, I have iCloud, but it's hard to download photos because I recently purchased a high-resolution camera that integrates well with my computers and software. I'm not a photo expert, but I'm enjoying taking reference photos and textures for my 3D models. It's easy to use and can grow with me by swapping out lenses. I'm a happy camper and will be using this camera for a long time. To conclude, here are our overall ratings for both of these cameras. Nikon Z50. We will give it an overall rating of 8 out of 10. Nikon D3500. We will give it an overall rating of 8 out of 10.